Hello, so if you want to learn about life, such as bringing back dinosaurs, or making an apple tree grow with bananas, or you just want to learn about your body, or you want to know how this is even more interesting than when computers started, this is a good place to start. So, everything that's living is made out of cells. So if you want to learn about life, you learn about cells. So, we're gonna grow some cells because that's the easiest way we can learn about cells. And we're gonna grow bacteria cells because it's the simplest cells in the world. So, this is everything you need to make the bacteria. First of all, you need the petri dish, which has two parts. One part that you put the bacteria on, and the other part that's just for opening and closing. You also need the inoculating loop, which is basically just sort of like a wire, but then there's a loop at the end. So it looks like a pencil. And what you do with it is you scratch bacteria on the petri dish. You also need gelatin for the bacteria to eat. It's basically just bacteria food. The bacteria itself, because you need it. And something very important is the incubator. So, everything here costs not a lot of money, such as the petri dish, which will cost one or two dollars. Same with the inoculating loop, which is also one or two dollars. The gelatin, the food basically, could cost five to ten dollars. The bacteria, you could get it for free, it might be a little bit expensive, but it depends, but the incubator is the most expensive. So that's why you should make one instead of buy one. So the incubator's job is to, is to control the temperature inside itself when it wants the bacteria to be happy which is basically all the time. But how we do that is with this temperature controller that's just a very simple thing that has like buttons to set the temperature, it has a, a screen to show the temperatures of how, what, what the, how hot or cold the temperature is. But it also has this wire that goes into the incubator to know the heat, what the heat is inside it. But it won't make the temperature warmer or colder. That's why we have this heat pad, a silicon pad that's used to heat up the, the incubator connects to the to the uh, temperature controller also this does not cool it down it only warms it up but we need power to give to these things that's why we have a small power jack which is to give power to an adapter a specific adapter you could use it for like from one from an old computer or just one that's hanging around. Also, we need we have two more slot, a snare slot. We use the the fan to move around the air inside the incubator. 
so that it is like constant like air everywhere like the warm air is everywhere this part is optional but it's recommended because you have an extra slot and doesn't cost too much you also have a box we're gonna have the link to the cutouts in the description this is just a simple pretty simple box that that in that's gonna be the outside of the incubator so you put and we also have a piece of metal that we put inside because we put petri the petri dishes inside here so but we're putting the heat pad right here so we don't want it to melt the petri dishes so that's why we put the piece of metal on top so that it doesn't melt the petri dishes also you could put legs on it so that it's like it doesn't it's not right underneath the uh, the the pad you can choose in between two boxes one made of mdf Another one made of acrylic. The acrylic one is more expensive, but it is transparent. The MDF one is less expensive, $7 cheaper, but you can't see through it, though you could add a little window in there. Now we're going to talk about some a sneak peek of the wiring. So you have the temperature uh, board over here that has the cables over here of uh, the heating. You have over here the heat pad that has the two cables that go into the, the temperature controller. You have the middle... Uh, plate that goes over the heat pad you also have two wires that come from the power jack to the again temperature controller and you finally have two cables from the fan that also go to the temperature controller also speaking of the fan there's two screws on the side of the box that go connect to the fan. They're three by 10 millimeter screws. So here are all the things we're gonna use for the incubator, their prices. So the the temperature controller is about three four dollars the fan two three dollars the heat pad four or five dollars the screws for the fan one dollar probably the adapter about ten dollars but you probably have one at home um, the power jack, about one, two dollars. Um, the acrylic is about seven dollars, seven, ten. The, the MDF box is about three dollars, three, four dollars, and that's it. So, in total, it's about $25, $27. It would be cheaper if you have the MDF box and cheaper if you have your own adapter. Now that we have covered everything except for two things, which are both in the description, which is wiring and the cutouts for the box, that's about it. You also could fit about seven Petri dishes in this mini incubator, so don't worry about size unless you want to put 
like two million petri dishes inside it. Have fun building it, have fun using it, and don't forget to like and subscribe.